Well, we've been waiting a long time to introduce our next guest to the Blue Couch. Yes, yes. he's finally <laughs> come in. <Yay. laughs> Daniel Meyer, the musical director and, of course, the conducter of the Erie Phil uh, with us on the Blue Couches. Welcome in. Oh, it's great to see you both. Yeah, we're so it's glad to have you. How long have you been with the Phil? Since 2007. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I only know that because I read it in a document about <laughs> three weeks ago. And I thought, oh, Did that wow, surprise you? It's, that long. it's gone really quickly, actually. When you first took that job, did you ever see yourself really making a commitment to this community and staying with the Philharmonic here in Erie well, so long? I mean, I have to admit, when I first took the job, I was enchanted by the musicians. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were so hungry for leadership and they were mm -hmm. so talented. And I thought, oh, this is a wonderful opportunity, but I have no idea how it will find its fruition. And ultimately, each and every time we take the stage, whether it's a rehearsal or a, a concert, it's it's just magic. I mean, there's there's some element of the preparation and the hard work and the nitty gritty of putting together a concert. But then the inspiration of everybody working together to make something better than they could have made on their own. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of the magic of, of an orchestra. Yeah. What have been some of the highs for you over all these years? I would say developing our audience. Mm -hmm. You know, we we had hit some struggles with and every orchestra does over the course of their history. Um, but very slowly and steadily we've earned the trust of our audience, whether it's on the pop side or whether it's on the mm -hmm. symphonic side. I think it's been important uh, to really make sure that we invest a lot of energy and, and hard work into both sides of what we do. And then of course, all the inroads we've made in the community, whether it's growing our junior philharmonic, mm -hmm. we have a, a wonderful Erie Philharmonic Chorus with 145 members strong wow. now, yeah. and we have a, a brilliant youth chorus. Uh, just everything's going really, really strong, and, and I couldn't have hope for, for a better situation. And before we talk about this upcoming season, which is so exciting, um, Erie is very fortunate to have an Erie uh, Philharmonic. The city of our size, relatively small, to have a Philharmonic of this prestige, I mean, it's a big deal. Yeah. It's true, but we have a dedicated board of directors mm -hmm. who put their energy behind making sure that we have the funds that we need to. We've grown our budget, almost. we've almost tripled it over the past wow. 10 years. Mm -hmm. And um, we play in a beautiful place, as you know. Mm -hmm. The yes. Warner Theater, yeah. it, with its new renovation, we're thrilled with the new acoustics. We can hear each other beautifully on stage, and the sound of the orchestra has just gotten richer mm -hmm. and had more bloom and more reverberation. We, we love playing in the Warner. It's really a treat. So let's talk about uh, this Saturday, Tchaikovsky's Fifth. Yeah. Well, the fifth is the centerpiece. That's the big symphony on the program, and that's our chance for the orchestra to shine. Mm. We're really you know, front and center. It's a beautiful piece. It's a piece that orchestras all around the world love to play and love to, to show off what they can do. Uh, but we're coupling it with some really interesting music as well. Uh, there's a piece by Gabriela Ortiz, and she's the new composer in residence at Carnegie Hall this year. And she's already 60 years old and has had a great career, but for some reason, this has been her big pop-out moment. Orchestras all over the world are understanding and recognizing the great music that she writes. Mm. So we, we chose a seven minute piece called Cayumari, uh, based on a Mexican legend to start the program. It's got great rhythm and nice uh, kind of Latin feel to it. So we thought mm. that, that might make a nice contrast to, to the romantic Tchaikovsky. Yeah. And then we're inviting Stefan Jakiv, and we've been trying to get him for a number of years to come. But finally, this amazing American violinist is coming mm. and joining us for the very first time and playing the Sibelius Concerto, which is another great opportunity to, to show off what the orchestra can do, but also th this incredibly talented violinist. Yeah, that's mm. terrific. We're starting to run out of time. How do folks get tickets uh, to Saturday's event? Best thing to do is go to eriefill.org. That's our website. You can you can look at a seat map. You can choose your mm -hmm. tickets right online or you can call us up. Uh, we'd be happy to, to help you out. And you can also look at the other shows that are on account for this yeah. season. Absolutely. A big holiday show which, which folks just love around here. They make it a tradition. But yeah, eriefill.org. Daniel Meyer, it was so good to have you here. Yeah. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, thank you. Don't be a stranger. Come on back.